Hello everybody, my name is Miss Bennett and I'm going to be sharing with you what year two looks like in our John Keats Academy. So to start, start off, here are some of the year two teachers. So myself, I'm Miss Bennett and I am supported by Miss Simsick in Dull class. We have Miss Roberts who is in Hughes class with Miss Kolak and we have Miss Gafour who is the teacher in Harrison class who is um, followed by Miss Page. So uniform, very important that you label everything, okay? Please make sure that your child is also wearing the correct uniform every day. Quite often we're finding jumpers missing, ties missing, blazers missing. So if you could label everything, that would be great. The only day the children do not need to wear their school uniform is on a Monday, and that's because they'll be wearing their PE kit to school. So as you can see here, it's the jumper, shorts and trousers, and black trainers. So for our main school uniform, we have shirts, which are light blue. We have the tie. You have the string ties in key stage one. The jumpers, trousers, shorts or skirt are navy blue. Socks and tights, which can be navy blue or black. Black shoes and the black bows can be AJK colours and quite small. And for the PE, we have a white polo shirt, a navy blue sweatshirt, navy blue shorts or jogging bottoms. And again, black shoes, black trainers. So other essential items your child might need, water bottles. It is really important that your child has their water bottle with them every day so they can top it up when needed, especially during the COVID scenario at the moment, we are unable to provide cups and things like that. So they need to bring in their water bottles every day. Now, snacks for break time. In year two, we have our lunchtime at 12 o'clock. So that's quite a long morning for the year two. So what we do have, we do have a break time at 10.50 and the children are provided with a small piece of fruit. However, you can bring in your own piece of fruit or healthy snack if you would like. Another essential item is the reading books. Now these will be changed every Friday once their previous book has been returned. So in AJK, I'm sure you may have seen this already, they are all over school. We have our five values and they are kindness, effort, aspiration, tenacity and success. Now, the children will be very familiar with these values as we speak about them on a daily basis. And once a term, we actually have a we focus on one of the values and the win, we have choose a winner for a certificate. So we would have a winner, someone from the year group who has shown the value of kindness. So the children look very excited to um, receive in those certificates. So the day of a life in the year in a year two classroom. So as you can see, the timetable is very busy. Now, on a Monday morning, we have PE, which is then followed, sorry, followed by maths and reading. We then have writing, computing, pastoral time, which happens on a daily basis for 10 minutes. We have music and phonics again is also on a daily basis. So most of the mornings, as you can see, from Tuesday to Friday, we'll start with maths and will be followed by reading. And then after the morning break, we have our writing lesson followed by phonics after lunch. Our foundation subjects are generally taught in the afternoon. So art, topic and science are taught in the afternoons throughout the week. So a bit of an English overview, our weekly structure. So our grammar and spelling, we will teach for 15 minutes a day. We have writing lessons for one hour and we have guided reading lessons for 30 minutes. Now, in addition to all of this writing and reading, we also teach handwriting daily for 20 minutes when the children arrive at school and for, for this scheme of work we use something called letter join so the children are being taught how to write in cursive handwriting. We also run 50 minute daily phonics sessions and we use a program called Read Write Inc and as many of you may have heard the children talk about Fred the Frog and Fred Fingers and Fred Talk. Now for English in year two for this term we are going to be focused on the story of Paddington so you may have also heard them coming home talking about Paddington as well so Paddington the Bear. And throughout this piece of writing, we're going to be looking at narrative and writing a set of instructions. Now, our foundation overview. So for science, we are looking at animals, including humans. So we're looking at the human life cycle and what humans need in order to survive. For our topic this term, we're looking at amazing individuals. So at the moment, we are looking at Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King. For computing, we're looking at coding. For Jigsaw, which is our PSHE lessons, we're looking at All About Me. For art, we're looking at self-portraits. In music, we're doing lots of singing and learning lots of songs. And for PE, we're doing ball skills at the moment. And homework. Homework has slightly changed from last year. This year, we are using online programs called Doodle and Numbots. So please ensure that pupils are practicing for a few minutes every day, about five minutes a day on Doodle Maths, Doodle English, Doodle Spell. And this will really help with their learning. And then 
over the weekend, every Friday, the teacher will set an extra task for the children to complete. These will be checked by the teachers every Tuesday so we can see the two, who, which children have completed their tasks and to make sure they are in the green zone for all their programmes. This means they are on track with their progress. As well as the online programmes, we would also like the children to be reading for 15 minutes daily. And in year two, the children will soon be bringing home banded books, which is aimed at their reading level. So they should be able to read with fluency at home with yourself. So a mathematics overview, we follow a mastery curriculum which emphasises studying fewer concepts but in more depth. So we use TT Rockstar's Numbots Doodle Maths to ensure that all the pupils know their number facts by heart. So that's why it's really important they're practising these at home as well on a daily basis. We do lots of reasoning and problem solving in lessons, acting like real, real mathematicians, sorry, so giving the children real life scenarios to work out. We use concrete and pictorial representations to also deepen our understanding of math. So the children are using a lot of manipulatives and deans to help them with their understanding. And as mentioned before on the timetable, we have a maths mastery lesson for one hour every day, followed by arithmetic session, so mental maths for 30 minutes. Now, how can you help at home? Now with spelling and arithmetic, you can help your child practice their spellings and arithmetic every night. For example, the look, say, cover, write, check is a great method. You could say a word, look at the word, sorry, say the word, cover it up, ask the children to write them and then check them. Times tables must also be practiced every day. The children use their times table knowledge to support with their mental arithmetic, more complex multiplications, division, fractions and more. So it's a very vital skill that they know their times tables. In terms of reading, we've said that 15 minutes of reading a day is fantastic, but really every child should be reading for at least 20 minutes. Children should be encouraged to read a book to which they can access. And you should read a book to them which is higher than their current reading level to expose them to new vocabulary. Please record the books in their reading records so your teacher is able to look and see what they have been reading at home. Parent communication. We have Class Dojo up and running now, so you are able to speak directly to your class teacher using Class Dojo. Through Class Dojo, you are able to send direct messages to the teacher, of which they will check on certain days and certain times. You can also find out lots of information through the school website and the school email. We have the school phone number, which I'm sure you already have at hand, and we also communicate anything from school using newsletters, which are only digital now. If we need to send an important message, we have the use of text messages, Twitter and YouTube to update parents with what's going on at school and Friday assemblies. However, these are not happening at the moment due to COVID, but we hope they'll be up and running soon. In terms of anything else that you may need, your first port of call is your class teacher. You can then address the head of year and then if it needs to be passed on, it can go to the, a member of the leadership team to help you deal with any queries you may have. Our pastoral vision. So our belief at Art John Keats Academy is that every pupil has the capacity to be a knowledgeable, literate, articulate, confident and compassionate individual. To support pupils in reaching this capacity as part of, of our pastoral care, all teaching staff ensure that our school remains a safe environment. As much as we can, that pupils are safe in all aspects of their lives. Pupil communication is honest, supportive, frequent and in the pupil's best interest. Our behaviour approach, approach is implemented correctly to promote general well-being and self-discipline amongst pupils. We want every scholar to feel like they belong at Arc John Keats. So in Key Stage 1 we use a reward and an escalation system. So as you can see here we have the earth, the moon and the sun. All children at the beginning of the day and at the beginning of lunchtime will start on the earth. And if they do something really good in class, they get to travel up to the moon and then to the sun. Once they've reached the sun, they earn a sticker, which goes onto their sticker chart, which then leads up to working towards their merit badges. So this is all the positive behavior on this chart here. However, if we have some negative behavior happening, what we do is we use the traffic light system. So all children, again, at the beginning of the day and at after lunchtime, start on the green light. If the child needs to be spoken to and they're not doing the correct thing and they are given a warning, they then move down to amber. So here they will have a bit of a timeout if they need to just calm down and regain and come back and remain focused. 
If they then come back to the lesson and they are spoken to again, they would then move on to the red light. So this is where the, they're being quite disruptive. And what might happen is they will have a longer time out, but this will be during their playtime and lunchtime or golden time for year two. So the escalation system is only used after our routines and reminders have not worked. So it resets every half day. Catch ups occur either at lunchtime or pastoral time. So the children will catch up from their behavior and have their timeouts during their lunchtime. In any situation where the conversation log is used, a teacher will be explaining what the pupil was asked to do, what they chose to do instead, why this was wrong and give an encouragement to do to sorry to the correct thing going forward. If a pupil is removed from a lesson, so if this means that the behavior has now escalated off of the escalation system, a pupil will be asked to be removed from a lesson. You will then find out about this. The teacher will inform you through Class Dojo or make a phone call home. Timeouts will be issued to pupils for poor behavior on the playground also. So it's not just inside the classroom, it's for if they're misbehaving on the playground too. Behavior outside the escalation system can result in loss of social time or exclusion, depending on how bad this is. Parents and carers will always be informed of incidents which are deemed to be outside the escalation system. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me an email to get in touch with the class teacher if you need anything clarified. Um, but thank you and I hope to see you all soon.